Hey everybody, it has been a while since I've been out. It is, I believe, Friday, October the 14th, about 12.35 in the afternoon. Uh, and I'm gonna run down here real quick and put out a camera uh, for one of the landowners that lets me hunt. He thinks he may have a problem with some poachers. So I'm gonna put up a cell camera kind of hidden. Uh, and then I'm gonna go scout an area and try to see if I can't get a preset uh, rope up in the air for my saddle hunt. I saw a nice buck the other day uh, when I helped him throw hay and I left the barn. It was a pretty good buck, you know, a little eight point across the road. I'd like to get a crack at him. So I'm gonna go over there, maybe put out another camera and see if uh, I can find the trails he's been using and, and get something set up so we can hunt in there. Uh, but we should be out hunting this afternoon. So uh, it, it was a big rain the last day. I think the deer are gonna be moving this afternoon. It's 65 degrees. Uh, so hopefully we'll have some good action. We just set up our camera uh, to try to catch the trespassers for the landowner. Now I'm headed down into this cornfield uh, where I saw a buck the other day. I'm gonna see if I can't find his trail and try to get a rope up in a tree so that I can do an SRT setup. All right, so we got this one right here. Hopefully it'll take their picture coming down these trails. And the cornfield, like I said, is right through there. I'm gonna put one more camera up and see if I can't get in a rope in the tree to maybe hunt this weekend. All right, we're back in the truck. We uh, got the two trail cameras put up, sorry, three trail cameras put up on uh, one of our private properties uh, as i said earlier one of them is for uh trying to catch some trespassers that the landowner thinks are coming through his woods the other two are trying to get a picture of a buck that i saw the other day i got a uh saddle hunting preset set up but the wind is not quite what we want for that spot so i'm gonna head down the road and go to another spot uh that i've hunted this year that i've seen some does uh, see if we can't get on one. I would think they'd be moving this afternoon since it stormed so much yesterday. But uh, only time will tell. So I'll see y'all in a bit from the tree. All right, we're making our move. I've already seen deer in fields on the way. So I think they're going to be moving early tonight. Hopefully I can get in here quiet, get set up, and uh, not spook too many out of here. It's tough because I have to walk really close to their bedding. But uh, I'm pretty optimistic about seeing something that I may not get a shot, but we'll try. This is where we'll be. Got a preset right here. We'll pull our rope up and we'll SRT up. Hopefully the deer will come from over there somewhere here shortly this has been a pretty good spot I didn't I don't think I've spooked anything on the way in so I'm gonna try to get in the tree pretty quick all right we made it got up in our saddle got our bow set up and uh, now we wait I'm gonna take my hat off and put my face mask on and uh, sit tight till dark see if something comes out and hopefully we can get it done tonight
มาthat one she came right on in here probably 15 yards got a good shot on her I don't think she went that far I think she fell over there so I'm gonna take my time hop down and see if I can find her because I forgot my flashlight so I need to try to find her before it gets dark out here oh <sighs> that was nice I like it when it happens quick it is Four o'clock, right on the dot. Four o'clock. So, and that is the fifth deer I've shot with that Kudu Point broadhead. I can't, you know, I shot four last year. Kind of been playing around with some mechanicals. Brought that Kudu Point back out, sharpened it up, and shot my fifth deer with it. It's crazy. I mean, it's just a small 100 grain broadhead, but, you know, you get it sharp, you get them flying right, get your bow tuned, and... You can shoot anything if, if you shoot the, you know, it's all about shot placement. And, uh, you know, I've had some bad shots. I've had some good shots. Uh, so I, I can't be, you know, I can't speak enough about those little broadheads, though. They fly really well out of this bow. So I'm going to get down see what we got. All right, let's go check out this air. I got to work on my rope. I got it stuck up in the tree. But we're going to see this air first. Make sure these hunting public fletchings are soaked. Looks pretty darn good. Pretty bloody. I'm telling you, those things, single bug will stick in the ground, man. I'm telling you. All right. Oh, tore fletching on. So, got a good arrow. Good blood. So, let's start tracking her. All right, so as y'all can see, the leaves are changing. So you got leaves like this. So we're just gonna head in the general direction to where I think she went and see if we can't find her because I don't see us finding too, too much blood on these leaves. Oh, there we go. There. So, not bad blood here. I think she's got to be laying in here somewhere. Oh, there she is. I didn't think she'd gone that far. Because we had her with a pretty good shot. Good size dough too. It's exactly what we want. Not too big, not too small, just perfect size. And we hammered her and angled down, so tickle with that one. Take a few pictures and uh, head off to the truck. All right, so a lot of people will drag their deer out or gut it. What we do is I'm gonna go back to the truck and get my skin and stuff and just, uh, Come back in here and skin the deer. Might as well just skin it right here on the spot, you know? Uh, and pack out the meat. That way I don't have to drag it home, skin it, and try to get rid of the carcass and all that. I could just do it right here in the woods. All right, for those of you who don't know how to do this, I'll show you. 
I just got a uh, went back to the truck and got me a stick and got, and used my platform and then I have this uh, like twenty dollar pulley system from like I don't know Dick's Sporting Goods or somewhere I bought years ago. all tangled up but yeah i'm using my platform to hang this deer it's pretty simple that's about it we've got her boned out skin up and we'll I put everything in a uh, white meat bags and we'll pack her out pretty easy all right, well, I hope y'all found this useful, especially me skinning it in the woods. If y'all like these videos, just smash that like button, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We'll see y'all soon.